it's your boy, it's your boy, what it do, what it do. I've been MIA. I had to do the funeral yesterday for my uncle. Beautiful service, beautiful service. Buried my uncle on, on my mother's birthday. And uh, I enjoyed it, you know, good farewell. But man, you know what I be tripping on? Not just tripping on, I'm really, I'm tired of it. How these white podcasters consistently put these brothers on their shows. And these brothers, a lot of these fools, to constantly explore black culture. And in the process of letting them explore it, they let them disrespect blackness. And I'm, I'm talking about the No Jumper dude. He got a bad habit of throwing loves and shades at black people. And black people that be there submit to what the fuck he be seeing. That white man don't have no respect for black. And he showed him the fuck don't have no respect for the black dudes that work for him. And he's simply signing their paycheck. And that just goes to show you that females ain't the only ones prostitutes. So y'all better be careful on what shows you go to. Because these people mean us no harm in the black community. Yeah, it might sound like they do. But whenever a black man sit in the presence of any other man that ain't black, let that black man, that, that, excuse me, let that white boy talk about another black man in a disrespectful manner, and you don't check him, there's something wrong with your blackness. It ain't that he exploiting black, because you're allowing him to exploit it. You understand what I'm saying? And some of you brothers need to wake up, because that ain't what time it is, man. We got to start standing up and representing each other. If we don't represent each other, man, it's going to be a motherfucking problem. It's been a problem. Because brothers seem to want to sell their souls for materialistic ass shit that you can't take with you. You got to leave it with somebody. You understand what I'm saying? Stop allowing yourself to be exploited by these old racist ass devils. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what they are. Whenever somebody of any other color get in your presence and you allow them to talk about another brother, and you don't defend that brother, I don't care what that brother did or what he ain't did. You understand what I'm saying? You still supposed to defend him. Let that dude confront that brother. You understand what I'm saying? Don't come back saying, oh, that ain't my homeboy, so you feel he can say what he, what he want to say about him because he ain't from your neighborhood or whatever. He a black man, so you should want to defend a black man. Stop allowing yourself to be exploited by allowing somebody to disrespect black people. It ain't cool. I don't know what's wrong with you, brothers, that do that. I really don't. You dudes is doing too much, man. Y'all allow yourself to get on these podcasts, and you allow people to say whatever they want to say about black. Come on, man. You don't stand for nothing. You're going to fall for anything. Stop falling for the bullshit, man. If you, if you want to represent your hood, do a better job at what you're doing because you're doing your hood a disfavor when you allow some motherfucker to come disrespect another brother. You understand what I'm saying? Stand up and represent blackness. It ain't all about your hood no more, man. It's about being a black man. You understand what I'm saying? And you brothers ain't getting that. We do ourselves more, di more harm and we bring about more disrespect to each other than anybody else. And we got to stop that, man. We got to st start representing each other to the fullest. You understand what I'm saying? Man, this shit is so fucking pathetic. When, I, when people send me something to watch and, 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 and these brothers don't defend another brother because this brother ain't from your neighborhood. He didn't grow up in your area. That means he's lesser than you. Hey, man, there ain't no big use in little eyes, man. We all cut from the same... Let me, let me hold that one up. We all from the same ghetto, man. Ain't no ghetto harder than another ghetto. But what, what we need to start understanding is that it's about black before anything else. Whether you're a Keyway, Damu, GD, whatever. It's about blackness above all else. And if you can't understand that or grasp that, hey man, you need to go see a psychiatrist, man. Because uh, it's about my skin color, man. It ain't about nothing else with me. I'm going to stand tall on my blackness, man. I'm going to continue standing tall on my blackness. I'm the gatekeeper of cribism, gamuism, and my blackness, man. And black come first. And if a person can't respect that, <coughs> kick rocks. 
kick rocks, man. I'm gonna stay living. It's Sunday, football day, and I'm gonna go live in a minute. I'm gonna drink me a cup of coffee. We're gonna pop it this morning. So, y'all, let's start representing our blackness a little bit better. It's a must that we do. If it's not, as I always say, the black man gonna be extinct. And we're doing it to ourselves. It's genocide, man. That the things that we do, we're willing to harm each other. We're willing to kill each other behind the color of a rag, behind some words that people just create content about. You still got people that, that watch, that trolls YouTube just to talk about black. And then y'all feed into that. Let's stop feeding into the negativity and feeding into some positive shit. Let's come together as one. Let's stop biting into this bullshit where it's always a separation in our race. This division, this divide and conquer shit, we got to kill that. We got to kill it, man. And with that said, hey, man, this is the best six minutes I can give you this moment. Love you.